finally the volcanic, volcanic ash from Iceland stops after a long drawn out year. And my mother finally returns from France to come home to New Jersey. After a year living in Paris with her friends from the June Drive book club she took the trip with. We all greet her in Newark and she doesn't, we don't even recognize her. She looks like Leslie Caron did in The Divorce. My mom now has a French accent and sounds like the French girl in the first Mission Impossible movie who I never understood through the whole damn film. I always thought she was saying, Tom Cruise, would you please take out the garbage? But mom is not alone. alone. She brings her with her Henri, her 27-year-old boyfriend who has droopy eyelids and has a small pencil mustache and no job to speak of. Mom gives my niece and nephew chocolate statues of the Eiffel Tower. That night she makes chocolate crepes well, while Edith Piaf is blaring on her boombox. Mom demonstrates the correct way to break an egg. Another little trick she learned in Paris. Henri sits in his t-shirt and boxers in the living room reading the racing form and asks my brother if he could, would take him some time to Manhattan to his bookie in Soho. Mom makes the grandkids read Les Miserables Balls and gives my 13-year-old ne nephew a DVD of Jules and Jim. Every night it's escargot and Coco Vaughn for dinner and reading out loud from Julia Child's famed French cookbook. A year later, Mom kicks Henri out when his sister Jacqueline comes, who is not his sister after all, but his third wife, who has he hasn't divorced yet. <laughs> Mom goes back to listening her Sarah Brightman CDs and loses her French accent. No more cafe au lait, no more croissants for Sunday brunch. Soon she gets the urge to travel again, this time to Spain, where we will worry if she'll come home that trip with a 30-year-old pot-bellied ex-bullfighter named Papa. 